In this tutorial, we're going to be working on transitions in DaVinci Resolve. So I'm going to explain how you can add transitions and different problems you will encounter with transitions in DaVinci Resolve. So I have my clip right here. I can go to Effect Library and I can find all my transitions under the Effect Library panel. So we have the audio transitions and we have the video transitions. So I decide, for example, to grab this blurred salt transition and put it on this clip. I can just find the right spots uh, right here and then put it. Then I can grab another one and then just find the right spots in here and put it. Click play. Uh, it's slow a bit, it's lagging because it's rendering at the same time and it's recording and it's doing everything. Cool, now I can just click on the transition and hit delete on my keyboard or click backspace or backward, whatever the name of that thing is. Now the problem happens when you want to add a transition between two clips. Let's say again, I wanna add, uh, let's say some, let's see something else. This bandwidth, for example, I wanna add it in the middle of my clips but it's not working, okay? It's just not working, man. And no matter what I do, and no matter how I do it, it's just not working. So it works here. If I put it, if I want to put it on the beginning of the clip, let's find the right spot. Here you go. Here it's not working, and it works probably here if I want to put it in the end of the second clip. And at this point, you're probably frustrated. You're thinking about going back to Premiere Pro and you're like, what the fuck is wrong with this software? You try different stuff, but nothing. You see nothing, nothing, really nothing here. So what I can do is... Guys, I'm running into this problem on purpose because I want to show you how to fix it, not because I don't know how to fix it. So two things to fix that problem, okay? Two things, man. The first one is that you want to grab your cuts and then just cut here cut here select the selection tool two clips and then just right click and ripple deletes now here you go it's gonna work okay it's gonna work man The second thing that you can do is that just add them, add the transition separately on both clips. So for example, I can add the transition here. Or maybe, hold on. I need to uncut this like this, yeah. Now add the transition here. Okay, and then add a transition here. But just make sure you separate them before you add these transitions. And then just put them back together. And it should um, work. Yeah, it should work, man. Okay, so my favorite one is when you cut. So let's go back to cutting. Let me delete those. And then again, just cut here, cut here. Oops, I had to click delete. And then let's add, for example, let's add this band whip right in the middle, like this. Okay, guys? So that was uh, one way of doing it. Now, the other thing I want to talk about is, just a minute, let me find it first. I want to delete this transition, don't need it now. Mm, Bando, let's try this one. Oh, this is not the one. Okay, so let's add, for example, this uh, cross dissolve right here. Click play. And you can see what's going on here. So for X, Y reason, you decide to make this transition a bit, last a bit longer. You can click on the transition and just drag it from the side or down so you can ex extend or shrink the duration of it. Now this thing apparently you can make it any longer but you can definitely shrink it, okay? You can see here under the inspector. And the other thing you can do 
under the inspector is just customize this transition this uh, transition however you want so we have here alignment you can put it start on edits or end on edits or in the center video transition style you can change it change it here as well i don't know what the fuck is wrong with my english today bandwidth for example let's see okay you can really uh customize it however you want here the duration we can increase it but i think as far as 0.8 let me type one here right not gonna work so the maximum is gonna be 0.8 okay and once you customize your transition what you can do is that you can actually save it okay once you adjust all the settings and you do whatever you want to do here under the inspector you can go ahead and save your transition so again i can right click on the transition and then look for create transition presets you can give it a name c for example i'm just going to add c click ok if i go here you can find the new one so it's under user spiral whip preset c it's the one we just adjusted okay guys so this is how you work with transitions in davinci resolve thank you for watching and see you on the next one